Okay, so now we're going to dive into a bunch of elements. And the first one we'll talk about here is the paragraph element or the P tag. So I'll scroll down on here. You can also just search for it. Um, it's just the letter P and it represents a paragraph. That does not necessarily mean a paragraph of text, although that is often the case. In HTML, a paragraph can actually contain any sort of related content that you want to group together. So that could be images, it could be different pieces of a form, like different inputs and labels and stuff. But for now, we're gonna do textual paragraphs. So here we go, we can see on my Wikipedia page, it's not mine, but on this page of four chickens, uh, we've got a paragraph of text here and a separate paragraph of text here. Now, if I were to just copy this text over, I already have the first half into my document and I save and I could add some space in there. Let's go back to my browser and refresh. Hmm, that spacing is not respected at all. It's just pushed together into one giant chunk of text. So if I wanted to indicate clearly that there's a division, that this is a separate standalone paragraph of text from this, I can use the paragraph element using the P tags, opening P and closing P tags. So I'm gonna do that right now. So first of all, let's do the second paragraph to start. I can do this on a separate line like this and close it after the fact like that. Um, things get a little bit crazy with this super long line. You can also turn on text wrapping. Um, you could add in your own returns in here, uh, but if you did something like this, that's fine. Uh, and if I refresh, you'll see that those returns aren't really respected. So we had genetic, Africa, had according. Here, it's not at all the same. So it doesn't really respect those line breaks, but by wrapping everything in a P tag, or P tags, we end up with a standalone paragraph. So this indicates, here's a paragraph. Now this is not a paragraph here, but it should be, right? And specifically, I want this to be another paragraph. So this here is the title, the heading of my page. This though is a paragraph and it's totally fine to nest elements. In fact, we do that nonstop. I can have a bold element inside of a paragraph. So I'm gonna make my paragraph there and just move the closing tag to the very end. By the way, to move to the end of the line or the beginning of the line in VS Code on a Mac, I can hold command and then the right arrow or the left arrow or down to go to the end of my document or up to go to the top. And I believe that's control and arrows on a PC. I'm not entirely sure, but it's something involving the arrows. So now I've got two paragraphs. I'm going to save and then refresh my page. And there we go, two different paragraphs. So again, doesn't seem like they do a whole lot, but they do add that space here, that line break. They're something called a block level element. We'll learn more about that, and what it means but they take up a block of space. So this paragraph is gonna take up its own block and force everything that comes after it to start on a separate line. Okay, so that's a paragraph element, pretty simple. Next up, we're gonna talk about headings.